Okay, so we're just not going to look at this side of my head because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I clipped in extra extensions up here and it's just better. <laughs> okay, hi, good morning. We're doing a favorites video today. I don't know when the last time I filmed one of these is, so bear with me. I, <laughs> I don't even know, am I recording? Yeah, I think so. Anyways, nobody cares. Let's get into the favorites. This is going to be in no specific order. I just went through this morning and pulled everything that I use pretty much on a daily basis. I do have some fragrances, which obviously not on a daily basis every other day, but I'm going to share my absolute favorite things. As you know, if you're watching this video, I haven't really uploaded many makeup videos in the last year. I just, I don't know, I feel like nobody watches them anymore and it's just not like a thing like it used to be. So I don't use products like I used to. I would unbox and try new makeup every day, every week. And I don't do that much anymore. I kind of pick and choose what I think I'm gonna really like and I stick with it. So a lot of these things you've heard me talk about nonstop. A lot of these things might be new. If you're new here, obviously the whole thing will be new. So let's just get into it because it's gonna be feel like a long, wordy video. I will have every single product linked down below as always. If you're shopping the Sephora sale, I don't even know the exact dates off the top of my head. I know it starts today, but it ends on the date that I put on the screen. So let's get into it. Also, one more thing, if you're watching right now and you already have a cart full of things, what are you getting? Because I also wanna shop and I haven't even gone to the website yet to put anything in my cart. I know one thing I want to put in is a body wash from Necessaire because it's my favorite. I'll link it for you. But don't sell it out before I could buy one because it's so good. But leave your cart suggestions in the comments because I, I want to get some stuff too. Okay, like I said, no specific order. Let's start with makeup. <laughs> I have so much stuff in front of me. Let's start face. So I have two foundations I want to share. I've talked about them before. Um, they're pretty much my go-to lately, especially when I'm doing my self-tan regularly and I need to match my face to my tan skin. I have two favorites lately, I'd say within like the last year. The first one, these are so dirty because they've just been in my bag, so don't judge me, but the first one is the Dior Backstage uh, Face and Body Foundation. This is in the shade 3N. I usually mix it with 2N to get my perfect shade, um, but right now actually... This one's pretty close. I love this one. It's kind of like a light medium coverage, I would say. It's very like liquidy and like, like, can you hear it? <laughs> it's a very liquidy formula. So it's very like light on the skin. I like it. It's like a dewy finish on me. And I just love this one. It's kind of like a, it mostly looks like you just did really good skincare and have kind of like an even skin tone. It's not like super heavy. This one's good. Next up, one that is the complete opposite. This would cover literally anything and is very matte. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I've used this for years. I actually went back and found a video. I was actually watching my old lookbook video from whenever I had red hair. And I was like, my skin looks really good in this video. What makeup was I using? And then I remembered it was this. So this is in the shade Medium Tan Sand. And this is my tan shade. Like I said, this one, very full coverage and could cover literally anything. Very matte, it's such a pretty finish. And I use this brush that I also was gonna share. I don't know what this is called, but I'll link it. This brush is the best brush for applying foundation. It's my favorite. It especially applies, applies the Tarte foundation really, really nice. And it's just like all in one little, cause the brush is so big you can just and it's blended in already. Best brush. I love this brush. I, this is my second one because I actually washed this with my makeup, uh, what is it called? Cinema Secrets brush cleaner, which is actually alcohol based and it totally melted the glue or the adhesive in here that holds the bristles in, so I had to buy another one. But it's my favorite enough to rebuy. Don't sleep on this if you're looking for a full coverage matte moment. Okay, more face stuff. Let's go contour. I have one thing to share. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shape Soft Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. 
Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Wow, say that five times fast. Um, this is in the shade Light Medium, and I use it every day. I actually haven't been wearing foundation in the past couple weeks. I just, it's been kind of hot here and I don't want to. So I'm using concealer in this and then blush and that's it on my face. That's all I'm wearing right now. I actually don't have foundation on today either. So how's the skin looking? Every product that's on my face I'm sharing in this video. So you will find out. But yeah, I love this one. I use the shade light when I'm not using my self tan, but light medium works really well for when I do have my self tan. This is also a soft, oh, this one's called Soft Pop Blush Stick. A little bit easier to say. And this is, oops, it does have a brush on the other end. I never use it. Uh, this is in the shade Pale Petal. Kind of like a shimmery pink. This is really a similar shade to me to Orgasm from NARS, which I'm also going to be talking about in a minute. <laughs> I have a lot of blush in today's video. I just love this. I do recommend though applying it with a brush by like putting the brush over it first and then putting it on your cheeks so it doesn't lift your foundation. Okay, more blush, let's talk about it. Uh, Tower 28, sorry all my makeup is like disgusting. This has like fuzz in it that I need to clean off. I don't even know how. But this is the Tower 28 Beach Please Blush in Golden Hour. Just look at it on my cheeks right now. She's perfect. It's so dewy and is what's giving my skin that like golden-y glow. I always love an orange blush, it's like my favorite. Sometimes I have a little bit of a baby pink situation, but orange is always my go-to. I love looking like maybe I got a little bit of a sunburn. Um, and that's this. Another blush, of course, is the NARS. A little ASMR. Does that sound gross? <laughs> The NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. Let me show you. Ignore the burn on my hand, by the way. Isn't that so pretty? Let me blend it. It's so pretty and shimmery. Oh, I love it. I burned my hand so bad with my curling iron. I don't even know how, I just like... <sighs> Anyways, if you're a fan of NARS Orgasm, I almost said Norgasm. <laughs> NARS Orgasm Blush. You will love the liquid version. It's just a lot dewier and I think it's prettier. So I love this one. More blush. These are always sold out, but I have to include them in here in case they're not. Do all my girlies out there a favor. The Dior Backstage Rosy Glow blushes. Yeah, they're both called Rosy Glow. This is coral and pink. These are the only colors they have, I think. I use these every single day. Even over top of liquid blush, like this one is so, I'm almost going to hit pan on it. And I will cry when that happens because it's always sold out. <laughs> this one is so pretty. I'm wearing it right now, like right in the front. And then the pink one, it's so pretty. It's almost like a purpley kind of pink. And does it show up? Not really. They're really like buildable. I feel like they start off really light, but you can build up the color and the pigment, which I like. I don't like when you put a blush on and it's just like way too much color <laughs> right from the start. Look how gross this looks by now. Like, do I know what a Clorox wipe is? Like, could I wipe this off? <laughs> and the inside is even worse. I use this every day. Okay? That's like contour powder and blush in there. You can see this all over my face right now. <laughs> I put it all over my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, my chin, like my whole face has it all over. And I even put it on my eyes sometimes. Like you just really need a glittery thing. Like I just need to be glittery. It's a sickness that I have, but I love this all over. And this is actually the first one I ever got. So it's lasted me years because I got that right when they came out. Okay, I think that's it for blush. I'm like looking around, making sure that I got it all. Let's do, oh wait, one more blush. This is also always sold out, but it's the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. If you can find any of these wands in stock, buy it, you won't be disappointed. Personally, love the contour wands, but the blush wand is also gorgeous. It's so, I'll show you. It is so pretty. I haven't swatched things in literally years. <laughs> Hopefully you can tell how pretty that is. It's like a peachy, orangey 
it's more pink than orange, but peachy color. And the formula is really, really nice. It's super, super glowy and like in your face glow. So you need. Oh no, I forgot I was gonna share a concealer. This is the concealer I've been using every day. Like I said, I haven't been wearing foundation at all recently in the past couple weeks, so I've only been using concealer. What shade is this? I don't know if this is the shade name or not. Anyways, it's the Kosas Concealer, the one with the yellow cap. It is in the shade 3.2. It says Revealer, Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. This formula is so good. It's dewy, but not in a way that's like bad. I feel like sometimes if it's too dewy it looks like weird for concealer but it's just gorgeous. I've seen literally everyone using this. I was watching a video yesterday of Hailey Bieber doing a makeup tutorial and she was using this so I'm like duh of course Hailey Bieber knows the best concealer and it's luckily what I've been using so I just felt really cool that me and her use the same concealer. Are we besties now? <laughs> Another face product, I've shared this forever, but I gotta share it again because I get questions every single day about my eyebrows. It's this, the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. It is what I have in my brows right now. They just look kind of wet, but they're stuck in place, like they're not moving anywhere. I love it, it makes my brows, like you can make them look kind of PC like I do up here. Like this is pretty much all my natural brow. I only fill in like right in the front and everything else is just this brow gel. Okay, rude, my light just went out, but you need this, so add to cart. I get questions every day. Add to your cart. Okay, light is back on. Let's talk about mascara. I have one mascara that I've been using nonstop. Everything in this video I've been using nonstop, but I have two that I love, one that I've been using a lot lately, and that is the Lancome Monsoor Big. This stuff is so good. Why did everyone gatekeep this for me? I don't know. No one ever told me about this mascara. I saw it on an Instagram ad, and I was like, that looks really nice. Add to cart. And it's so good. I have lashes on the very out, like from here out, but like, look at it. Are you seeing my lashes? That's all this guy right here, Monsoor Big, and it's nice. It's not clumpy. I feel like it gets on your um, lashes really nicely in a way that's like not clumpy. It's not like spidery. It adds volume, which is what everyone loves with a lash uh, mascara, a lash mascara. <laughs> no complaints about this one, none at all. I love to build it up. I do like two or three coats, and I love it. The next one is kind of opposite of that. This, why am I doing that today? Lots of opposites. This is Lash Freak from Urban Decay. This one is meant to look crazy. Um, I loved the campaign around this. I'm super excited to get it. And this is my second one I repurchased. This one has a really unique brush. Let's see if it focuses for you. It's like, let me explain it to you. So on one side, let me wipe some of this off. On one side, it's kind of curved in. So the side opposite of the curve is how you apply it. So you would apply it like this. And then this part right here, the end has a bunch of little bristles for getting in those hard to reach places like in here. And then when you're done putting, applying the mascara, you flip it over to this curved side and you can kind of push them up and like hold them up so they dry. Um, curled, which is nice. And this mascara makes your lashes look absolutely insane and I love it. This one does have a little bit of a tendency to get clumpy, but I feel like that's the vibe of this mascara. Like if you want a crazy, like intense lash, this is the mascara that you should go for. I love her. I'm only gonna share one eyeshadow palette and that's because it's one that I use every day and it's expensive. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. It's expensive, but if you're going to invest in an eyeshadow palette like this, you should do it while it's on sale. So let's talk about it. We all knew it was coming. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Hue Topian Palette. Let me tell you why you need her. Just look at it. Are you kidding? That's the second time. This eyeshadow palette is cursed. I'm leaving that on the floor right now. We're just gonna keep talking about it. It's not, like the lighting in here is not doing this justice because 
Will it focus on this, please? Look at my eyes, okay? Can you see the glitter all over my eyes? That's this shade right here. Let's add some more. I'm gonna demonstrate to you this product. You just grab a little bit on a fluffy brush and then tap it on. I put this in my eyebrows. It goes everywhere. And if I don't have this glitter on my eyes and my eyebrows every look, it's not complete. <laughs> so I need it. I should put this eyeshadow back in. I love this one too though. It's like a blue purple. It looks exactly the same as this one, just purple and blue. Gorgeous. Something is happening. I cannot pick this up. I don't know why this happens to this one shadow. I'm pushing it down in there. The other shades in this palette are obviously gorgeous. If you're gonna buy a Pat McGrath palette, get it when it's on sale because they are quite pricey. But like, I get it, it's Pat McGrath. Okay, let's move on to lips because there's quite a few. Um, I've been getting so many questions lately about what my lip combo is and I'm gonna share it with you. I have a few of them. I'm not gonna gatekeep them. First, let's talk about lip prep. I've been talking about this nonstop, okay? If you haven't bought this yet because of me, I don't know what you're waiting for. This is the best lip product to ever happen, okay? They just, no one else should make lip products anymore because they just did it the best. I, I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't say that. I have other lip products that I like for like a lip treatment or like lip softening kind of thing, but I've never spent more money on a lip balm than these products. I have every one, I'm pretty sure that they've ever, every scent that they've ever come out with. Um, Berry, I think this is called Berry. It doesn't have a name on it because it's like their original one and Gummy Bear and Peach are my favorites. Also Pear is really good. I feel like I don't even need to explain these. This is supposed to be like a lip mask for nighttime. This I find to be the same exact formula just in an easier to apply tube. I have one of these in every room of the house and every bag that I would leave the house with just because if I leave the house and I don't have this, I feel naked. I need to be able to apply this <laughs> at all times of my life. So um, do yourself a favor, get this best lip treatment. It looks like a lip gloss. It's not sticky. It smells so good. All the, all the flavors are good and it just, it works. So best. I've been talking about it for years. Okay, lip combos. Where do I begin? Let's start lip liners. I have three here, but I'm going to mention one more that I don't have in here. Pat McGrath. Okay, these ones, I was just going to say, this is my favorite one. I'm going to share my three top favorite lip liners ever. So none of them can be my absolute favorite. I use them all pretty much a similar amount. I will say the two that I have in here, I use the most more than the third one, but I couldn't choose one of them over the other one. Okay, shut up, let's go. Pat McGrath in Contour is what I'm wearing right now. Contour is my favorite one. I've gone through three of these down to where they get to like this because um, of how much I love it and use it every day. So wearing this one right now, I'm usually wearing this one. It's like my, I would choose this one probably first for an everyday look. So if you see me online and I'm wearing a lip product, it's probably this would be your first uh, guess. The next one is called Supernatural. It's the same Pat McGrath. Um, clearly this one needs to be sharpened. <laughs> um, it's just a little bit darker than contour. I was wearing this one yesterday. The second is Melt Foxy. And by the size of this, you can tell she is well loved. It is just another brown. It's like, a, I don't even wanna waste it by swatching it, but it's, hello. It's just like a nice brown. I wanna say cool tone brown, but I know that's not. It's just like a neutral brown. The third lip liner is from Charlotte Tilbury. Pillow Talk, um, Iconic Nude is another one that I really love. I don't have it in here, but I'm gonna link those as well. Love all of them. Okay, lip products. I just realized all these are a lot of the same brands, but they're my favorites, so I have to share. Um, let's do Charlotte Tilbury first. I have purchased so many Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> lipsticks. Um, I have like 20 of them, but I tried to round up my favorite ones. Let me make sure. Yeah, let's talk about it. So 
talk about the favorite shades. The first one up is my all-time favorite. They renamed it from Hepburn Honey to something else honey, maybe like Yes Honey or something. This is still when it was called Hepburn Honey. It is a perfect brown. I love it. Next, we have Live It Up. This is my favorite pink shade from Charlotte Tilbury. So pretty, such a pretty pink shade. Bitch Perfect, also a nude pink. This one's more of like a peachy pink, but I love this one. I wear it so often. And last up is Coachella Coral. I never really wear this one like as a whole. I haven't tried to, but I love to like dab it in the center for like a little bit of a coral like pop on the inside of my lip, if that makes sense. There are so many favorites of these though. Um, Nude Kate is another one. Kim KW is very beautiful. I have so many favorites. You can't go wrong with this formula. It is gorgeous. I'm clearly wearing it right now. It's very, um, what is, what is this finish called? Satin? I don't even know. It's not matte, but it's pretty and long lasting. Long wearing. We have a Rogue product in here, a NARS Air Matte Lip Color in the shade Shag. This one I find is really like my lips but better kind of color. Kind of see that there. I love this formula. I have it in another shade too. I can't remember the name of it. But you put it on and just kind of like tap it over your lips and it's just like the prettiest like blotted lip color. Again, this is in the shade Shag. I love this one. Love the formula. It feels like nothing is on your lips. Like it doesn't feel like a matte lipstick. It just feels like nothing. Feels like nothing. <laughs> okay, next lip product I'm gonna talk about is from Pat McGrath. I don't even have all my favorites in here, I just brought one. But Pat McGrath just has a really nice lipstick formula. I really enjoy it. This is in the shade Polaroid Pink. I don't know why I brought the <laughs> most intense color in here. But um, what is my other favorite one called? Why can't I think of it? My mind is just blank. I don't know what it's called. I literally, if you paid me a million dollars, could not tell you the name of that one. Peep Show. It's called Peep Show. Um, gorgeous color. It's so pretty. And so is Polaroid Pink, but uh, pretty intense. But really good formula. Cannot go wrong with any shade. The next lipstick I'm going to tell you about is Melt. I didn't mean to like coordinate the lip liners with the lipsticks, but somehow it worked out. Every time I wear one of these lipsticks, someone is messaging me, what color lipstick is that? Like, what is on your lips? I need to know. So these are my top three that I wear and get questions about. Number one that I get questions about, okay. The number one that I get questions about is called Paris Fling. It's just such a pretty nude when you put it over something. Okay, wait, I look crazy. Look how pretty. Paris Fling, this is a matte formula. Like, she is matte. It's not... I wouldn't say it's my favorite matte formula, but it's my favorite color, so I would sacrifice the formula to get the color. I usually layer these over top of a lip balm or something just because I don't love a super matte look anymore. The next shade is 710. It's more of like a brown, kind of like a 90s brown, but definitely has like some yellowy warmth to it, which I actually really, really like about it. It makes it super unique. And then the last one is called Zaddy. And it's similar to Paris Fling, but more pink. So those are the ones I get the most questions about. I love the colors so much. That's why they're here. Okay, last lip product is one I just got. And it was an immediate favorite. And let me tell you something. I bought this item not even thinking. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do like a little video with this, trying on this new brand, and was not expecting to like fall in love with it. It's like, it's just another lipstick, right? No, <laughs> no, no, no. This is Give Beauty by Gwen Stefani. And this is in the shade Original Recipe. Obviously, if anyone was gonna give us like the most perfect red lipstick you've ever worn in your entire life, it was gonna be Gwen Stefani. Like, duh. She's been wearing red lipstick forever. So again, this is called Original Recipe. This formula is insane. I don't know how, like, is this supposed to be matte? I don't even know. Like, I, I don't know much about this, to be honest, other than I walked into Sephora, I saw the display, and I was like, <gasps> Gwen Stefani? Like, I have to have her red lipstick. Thought in my mind, it's just another red lipstick, but it's Gwen Stefani, so I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna support my girl. 
and when I put it on in that original video that I filmed, if you've seen it on TikTok or Instagram or wherever, that was my thought process behind it. And then I wore it all day in about 100 degree weather, outside, windy, desert vibe all day long, ate food, drank drinks, the lipstick didn't move. I'm like, excuse me, this was a bullet lipstick. This wasn't a matte formula. How did that work? My lips didn't look crusty. It stayed put, it didn't bleed. It has a unique scent, by the way. I don't know what the scent is. I wanna say it's coconut. I don't know. I just realized when I was putting it on, I'm like, oh, that smells different. Most lipsticks have like that sweet vanilla scent to them. This is different. It's just different all around, but in the best way possible. And it's my favorite red lipstick now. I'm only wearing this for red lipstick. Um, another item, I think you can buy this at Sephora. If not, obviously you're not watching this clip right now because I cut it out. This is Freck. I use this every day to give myself the cutest little freckles and moles and whatnot. And they're the best to do it, so no explanation needed. This is Freck XL. This lasts me like six months, so I use it every day. <laughs> okay, next we have like body and hair. I have one skincare product that I wanted to share. Um, I also have, oh, I have two skincare. I have a lot of hair stuff I want to talk about, but I feel like it needs its own video. So I'll try to get that up before the Sephora sale ends because some of the things you can buy at Sephora. So, um, so let me try and do that this week. Why is my hair looking funny? She's not looking as voluminous as it was before. Okay, skincare. This I just got sent to me actually because I'm not done using my other one yet and this is like a limited edition bottle. I've been using this for years. It is pricey, but it's worth it. It lasts forever. I wouldn't tell you to buy something expensive if it wasn't good, okay? This is the Tatcha Essence. What do I what do I even say about this? It's just so nice. It's a plumping treatment. I find that if I don't use this, my skin looks not good. It looks parched. It looks it's giving casket vibes if I don't use this. My skin just like needs this. You basically like put a little bit of this liquid in your hand. And I rub my hands together and then just like tap it all over my face and then you apply your moisturizer and things like that. It really just helps your skin to plump up and like suck up all of your skincare and your skin looks so nice. Try getting a sample of this if you can at the store or something and try it out. This lasts forever too, like this will last over a year. Okay, another skincare product is the Lancome Makeup Remover. I've been seeing a new lady for my skin, which is why my skin looks like it's thriving right now. <laughs> I've been using only what she tells me to use for like six months and it's been doing wonders for my skin. So when I told her what I was using to remove my makeup, she said, don't do that. <laughs> so obviously I listened to her and she told me to only use this, Lancome. So you shake this up to like get everything mixed. It turns into like this milky color. So it gets kind of like milky and then you can put it on like a cotton round or whatever, but I just like put a little bit in my hands, rub it together, and then just rub it all over my makeup and wash my face that way. This works really good, it doesn't break me out. That's one of the main reasons I started seeing someone about my skin because I kept breaking out no matter what I did. I've tried literally everything and she was like, yeah, it's your products that you're using, so don't do that. <laughs> and this has just worked really well. This is my second one actually. Okay, let's talk about body and hair. I only have one body product, and again, it's so nasty. It's like covered in soft tanner. But this is the Summer Fridays Summer Skin Nourishing Body Lotion. It's almost gone, I need another one immediately. Um, this just smells like summer. That's even what it says on the back. It says, this indulgent body lotion treats your skin and senses to the feeling of a sunny summer day. Packed with plant-derived butters and oils, non-greasy, Melts into the skin, baby soft, blah, blah, blah. Coconut, vanilla blossom, and warm almond. It smells so good, I love this. It's almost gone, I use it all the time. And I guess I need to add this to my cart immediately. <laughs> okay, hair and fragrance, let's go. For hair, I have a dry shampoo. This is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. The smell of this alone would make me buy it a hundred times. It's just so good, but it also works really good. Jace uses this all the time. This is actually his bottle, but it's really, really nice. Jace has super oily hair, 
and this just immediately like erases any oil in his hair. It's insane. And it smells really good. My favorite texturizing spray right now is by Way. It's just called texturizing hairspray. It also smells amazing. I would just spray this just so my hair smelled like this. Let's give let's give it a little. I like don't even have a mirror in here, so I'm just guessing. This smells so good. Oh my gosh, that smells good. I just feel like my hair looks better after I spray it in. It looks like, like I slept in it for a day and then got up and then just kind of like, and I'm ready to go for my day, but like it looks good. Like a grungy hair kind of style. I love it. After I get out of the shower, I've been using this IGK Cash In for like a month now. This stuff also smells really, really good, but I noticed like a difference when I use this in my hair. I actually had a sponsored video with them after trying it and it's just been one of those things that like sticks in my hair routine. Again, I need to do a full hair video because I switch through a lot of products. I don't stick to like one thing for a long time. I like to like switch things up on my hair and give my hair like breaks from certain treatments and things like that. So I use a lot of different things in my hair. My hair is just like my baby. I take very good care of it. I love this. This is a serum. Did I already say that? The Cash In Instant Repair Serum. It also has heat protection in it, which is another reason that I like to use it. And now we're on to fragrances. I could talk about fragrances for 10 hours straight, but I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm just going to share a few that you can get at Sephora that I wear often. The first one is Replicas by The Fireplace. I wore this on my wedding day. It smells amazing. It's one of my favorite scents of all time. They say it smells like burning wood and chestnut. It's a masculine scent, but in a really good way. It's like this, I just love this one. I wear this in the summer, even though some would say it's like a fall winter scent, but it's, I love it so much. The next one I spray on myself every single time I get out of the shower. This is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. They call it not a perfume because it's actually only one ingredient and I'm spraying it now. Just smells so good. Like to, if I don't spray this on me after I get out of the shower, I don't smell like me to me, if that makes sense. Like I have to have this on underneath any fragrance that I'm gonna wear. It's just, it smells so good. It smells like me. So I don't know how else to describe that one. It's one ingredient. There's not notes to it. It's just, if you know, you know kind of thing. Okay, these three are perfumes that I feel like are nice for the season right now. So, or like spring, summer. The first one is Cannabis Santal from Fresh. I love this one. I actually had this one on already today and I just sprayed like two more on top of it. Can we not do this with my light? Why does it always turn off? <laughs> when my light turns off, I know I've been talking for too long. So just a few more products. We're almost through this, okay? I feel like this smells similar to Music Festival from Replica, but a little less intense. It's more, I just feel like this is what Woodstock would have smelled like, the Music Festival. It's giving Laurel Canyon vibes in the 60s. Um, it's just good. It smells, it has a little bit of like a cannabis scent to it, but it's not like, you know, you've been smoking weed all day long or something. It's like a very elevated cannabis scent and you can't go wrong with Santal or sandalwood, so it's very nice. Next is, how do you say this? Atelier Cologne Lemon Island. As you can see, I haven't used this one that much. It's still very full, oh, but it smells like summer. I actually, let me spray this on something else. I don't even get that much lemon from this, to be honest. Yes, I just sprayed it on my eyelashes. It smells so good. It smells like, I get like a lemon vanilla kind of scent but in like a more citrusy way. It's like not, not like lemon bars kind of way, like not like a bake, bakery lemon scent, but more like you just have like a sweet lemonade on a summer day after like running through, ooh, like camping. Like you just had lemonade, but you're camping. That's the vibe with this. Like you're just on a little camping trip in the woods, like you're by the lake and you have a sweet lemonade. That's what that smells like. Okay, and last but not least is Utopia from, is this K Ali or K Ali? 
This brand has come out with really good scents, actually. Mm, this smells good. Okay, let me spray this one on another pair of lashes. I don't know why all three of these are stuck together like this. That's really giving me bad vibes. <laughs> okay. Why did it do that? Maybe because I spray perfume on <laughs> them. Mm. It smells like candy. That doesn't smell like vanilla or cocoa to me. It smells like, it smells like Skittles and Starburst. That made me hungry right now. Utopia is literally the only way to describe this one. It just smells like you're in a land of cotton candy in the best way possible. And it says vanilla cocoa 21 on it. I don't get that at all, but it does smell very sweet and pretty and just makes me feel like being a kid again, kind of, like a candy store. Okay, that's it for this video. Sorry I talked for so long. I feel like I'm just out of the loop in these videos now. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you wanna see a hair video. Should I do a whole fragrance video? I feel like I'm not good at describing fragrances at all, but I just love the way that fragrance makes me feel. It can set a tone or the mood for the entire day, and I have like over 100 perfumes. It's pretty insane of me. Um, pretty insane behavior, but I love it. it. Makes me happy. Let me know what you want to see next as far as makeup, hair, anything, any kind of videos go. Stay tuned for a new Cherry Photo Club presets. I'm doing a festival mini pack. There's going to be more mini packs coming your way. If you haven't already checked out the spring mini pack, you definitely should by now. Why haven't you checked it out yet? It's so fun and cute. I'm also working on other things that I've been hinting at for a long time and they're going to be coming at you soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, just stay tuned in general pretty much because I keep saying stay tuned for different things, but just stay tuned in general, I guess. But that's it for this video. I will leave everything linked below in case you're shopping the Sephora sale and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!